Now this is a story of a bloke who spends way too much time editing videos. Slouched in a chair in the dining room with a crap posture, a couple of slipped discs, a true shadow of his former self. Now this story could take many turns. A year ago he hadn't even considered uploading a video to YouTube, let alone talking about himself in the third person. Because that would be proper weird. But this story is a story of a bloke and his missus on the adventure of a lifetime. They were travelling around every corner of the UK, leaving no stone unturned in the search for Britain's lost railways. Nothing would stop them in their quest to be the first people to visit every disused station in the UK. Nothing would stop them. Now, let's stay in this weekend, Rebecca. It's really wet. Just a little bit. So let's do the frequently asked questions. <clears throat> frequently asked questions instead. Okay. Happy? Yeah, go for it. Okay. We, we can't plug anybody's book today because the shelves, you put the Christmas decorations up. Yeah. But they look very cool. Yeah, they do. That's the family. That's the kids. Mm. Oh, and Baldwin. And Baldwin. Baldwin's got his own stocking. I didn't know that. We don't have our own stock in there. Okay. I want my own stock in there. <laughs> um, so we're not plugging anyone's book, but we can plug people's book, books. Um, we don't even know that person. No, but we like the book. <laughs> we like the book. Right. So um, maybe every so often we just do a subliminal, how are you, Rebecca? Um, yeah, great, lovely. That kind of subliminal. It's not very really subliminal, is it? <laughs> it's subliminal more. No, surely subliminal is a bit more. Is it? Is that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought subliminal was like a split second that you don't actually even see it. Maybe. So then but either plants. way, you passing it over how you yeah. <laughs> it's not going to work. Okay, so we'll do it subliminally. I still think subliminal will be... Subliminal is not doing it without even knowing you're doing it. Exactly. But if you shove it in the face, then it's going to be like, it's a game. Yeah. Right. Frequently asked questions. <laughs> Let's film the frequently asked questions video. I have a list of questions in this book. Um, and we've been asked a few questions about our every disused station. So we wrote them all down. We did. And here life, the video. Yes. Question number one. Um, how can we follow you? Twitter. At, at Paul Whitewick. Yep. Or at R Whitewick. Yep. At Paul Whitewick. At R Whitewick. Mm -hmm. On Twitter. We're on Facebook. And we have a Facebook. Um, it's not a group. It's a page or group? Page. It's a page. Page. And that is Every Disney Station. Station. So do follow that because we're updating that quite often. Mm -hmm. um, I'm on Instagram. You are. As P Whitewick. Yep. At P Whitewick. Mm hmm. Um, you can look at the website, which is www.paulwhitewick.co.uk. Yep. I think. And we'll also have, we'll have on there loads of stuff, including the Every Disuse Station page, where we put every single video we do, which is great. But also, you're halfway through working through the map yes. page, which is going well. Yep. Which is basically, every single time we go and visit one of the locations, a little icon will appear to say, we've been there, with a little bit of basic information on it. And probably a link to the YouTube cha YouTube channel, the YouTube video that it was. In. Yeah, that'd be really good. Cool. Right. Um, so, yeah, you can follow us on Twitter. You can follow us on the Facebook group page. You can follow us on Instagram. Uh, Twitter, we're probably the most active on because when we do go out for the day, mm. we also do stick loads of photos on when we're out and about as well. Update so as we go. Yeah, exactly. Um, question number two. Two. What is a disused station? Yes. So we're classifying a disused station pretty much as any um, standard gauge railway station. That's pretty much it, isn't it, really? Yes. Whatever year it was closed, um, we've got a list, obviously, which we'll come to in a second, but there are 6,800 plus stations on that list, some of which closed as early as 1840s, 18, late 1830s. Mm -hmm before many and many of the railways in this country were built. So anything that is on that list, how, whenever it closed, 
which will include um, some of those really, really early ones from 1830s, right up to the likes of potentially IBM, or however we, close we can get to IBM, which is closing like Monday or has already closed by the time this video goes out. Um, it will be a disused station. So lots. What is a disused station? Standard gauge, main line, station. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily main line, branch line, whatever. Yep. And following on from that exact question. Question number three. Mm -hmm. What is question number three? Well, will you be visiting Heritage Railways, which actually is exactly the same as what we just said. Yes. But it's a, what people keep asking us. Yeah. So 100% yes, we will be visiting Heritage Railways. Mm -hmm. A number of different reasons. People have pointed out that it's not disused because it's used, which is completely the case. But in the sense of it was a passenger service station. And it is now not on a national, the network, yeah, national the, yeah, exactly. network, basically, now. Therefore, it's disused in, in our context. And also, for example, the Somerset and Dorset Railway. Mm -hmm. There are heritage centres sites along that. So if we are doing a section of a railway, which used to be, whatever it was, there are often small sections of that which are taken up by heritage railway. So it would be stupid not to go and visit, wouldn't we? Yes. So if there are any heritage railway um, sites that want us to come and visit them specifically and do a little video or something, I'm game. Let us know. Yeah. Yep. Question number four. Um, will you visit the ones you've already been to? We've answered that a few times and it's pretty obvious now, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. So yes, apart from the Somerset and Dorset Railway, which we might end up doing last because we announced a challenge after we did the Somerset and Dorset Railway. Didn't yeah, we? literally just afterwards. Yeah, that kind of kicked it off. Mm -hmm. So yes, we will be visiting the ones we did before because we have visited a lot of obscure ones in Scotland, a lot of um, remote ones mm -hmm. in Devon, for example. Yep. Um, but we, in theory, we'll need to do this again. A good example is Rickerton. Yes. Rickerton Junction, very famous. In the middle of nowhere, and we only did that one station. Yes. We didn't do anything yeah. else on the Waverley Line, did we? Nope. So if we're going to do the Waverley Line, it would be stupid not to go and do Rickerton. Yeah, you have to do it as a whole then, yeah, yeah. definitely. So we will be going to those again. Yes. Yeah. Question number five. Um, some stations are inaccessible. What constitutes a visit? Example being... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to pronounce it. Pla Plashets, Plashets, Plashets. Probably I'm sure someone will correct me. <laughs> we went to Sawtree on the Border Counties Railway, if I'm saying that right, uh, which was lovely. You should go there, link below. Mm -hmm. um, and about three or four stations down on from Sawtree is the station that I can't pronounce. Um, but of course now it is uh, about 100 feet underwater because they filled it in as a dam or a reservoir damn hmm. um so obviously that is completely inaccessible so what constitutes a visit in our mind a visit is as close as we can possibly get where we are not trespassing and we are not endangering ourselves or other people yep that sound fair yes so in the example of plash plashets we'll basically find out where it was in terms of gps and get as close as we possibly can without scuba diving under the water yeah i've not done that for a long time You've done scuba diving? Mm. Really? Yeah. I've not. Mm, there you go. Well, maybe you could do this one. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you get the idea. As close as we can get without trespassing, mainly, which you'll note a lot of these are private houses, for example, so we can't exactly rock up on everybody's doorstep and knock mm. on their front door. Can, no, can we come in? So we won't be doing that. Mm. Question number six. I need an extra finger. No, I don't. I've got two hands. <laughs> oh, dear. Question number six. Will you be meeting people along the way? Um, that's a tricky question because a lot of people have said to us, oh, I'll meet you at so-and-so, I'll come and help you do so-and-so, which is really good mm -hmm. and lovely. Um, the simple answer is we haven't got any massive plan as yet to do all of these. We haven't got a, a system. At the end of the day, we have jobs and a gazillion kids, so it's not something we're going to be doing every day. Five, five, not gazillion, five. That's a gazillion. That's between two of us as well, not just... So, the idea being, um, we will, I am sure, meet people along the way at some point. Um, we've got a lot of offers from various people, which is great. Um, but we're not making any specific plans as yet. We are just sort of bumbling along 
and we're sort of saying to ourselves, well, we've got a free weekend then, let's say, yeah. go and do that. It's going to be last minute, isn't it? It's going to be, oh, the weather looks good, the weather looks good-ish, let's go and do a certain area because we can get to it this weekend and that sort of thing. So it'll be yeah. quite last minute, some of them. So yeah, that's the kind of the plan, that there is no plan. So we will meet people along the way, I'm sure, um, but there is no specific plan in place. Question number seven. Are you working from a definitive list? Yes. Um, so go to the website, uh, www.paulwhitewick.co.uk, then click on the Every Disuse Station tab, which is top left, top right as you look at the computer, top right, um, and then you'll go to the page uh, where you can see our, our plans. There is a picture on that page of a database. Click on that picture, and that will load a PDF file in that PDF file, you'll see a list of stations in alphabetical order. Um, we do have another a couple of versions of that in date order and order of the line, in other words, the companies that built them. But that database is in order of station. That is the list we're working from. Yep. Um, we're working from a couple of old books, not old books, a couple of recent books. Mm -hmm. That um, have a lot of old information. Yeah, that give us a rough idea of where we want to go. Um, but on that list, if you see any items that aren't items, places that aren't on there that should be on there, let us know. Yeah, definitely. Just however dubious, however silly, yeah. let us know because we can add them. Mm. Oh, I saw one earlier actually that wasn't on there. Oh. I can't remember what it was now. A, oh, I know. It was a, the Basingstoke and Orton Railway, there's a hospital platform. Oh, okay. So that counts. Mm. I think it was open for like five years or something. So. Okay. So, yes, we do have a definitive lift list and you can look at it online. Um, question number eight. What if a station has moved? Interesting question, really, isn't it? Yeah. Did um, we even think about this? Which one did we say? Fort William. Yeah. Fort William, obviously, everyone knows is a current station, mm -hmm. um, but was half a mile south of where it is now i think on what is now a dual carriageway does that constitute a disused station because it now has a main line one or still a current one but then was it closed i think the thing is, is was that closed for a period of time or was it literally closed because the other one was built or was it closed and then they decided to rebuild a new station afterwards i think it was a quick transition so it was just closed because they wanted to move yeah, it? Yeah, I think so. Then I might I, be wrong. I'm not convinced that's classed as disused then because they've still got a Fort William railway station. Yeah, I kind of agree with you, really. If it had been closed and then, I don't know, a year or so down the line, they've gone, actually, we could really do with another station, then they built, built another station. I think that's when the original one was disused. Yeah. Because it was closed properly, no station so needed. It, it can was, move. That was it. So in theory, what we're saying is a station can move and that's not disused not un only it if, well yeah yeah that's the, the kind of the criteria we're yeah. working to okay i don't know if there's many examples anyway so i don't think it's a big worry no fort william is one i thought of another one the other day but i've completely forgotten but the one where we were the other day was it where were we i would say temple Coombe. Uh, well, Temple Coombe had two stations, didn't it? Temple Coombe had one on the east-west. Of course it did, yeah. And it had the Somerset and Dorset on the north. Whereas one of them's still there, but the other one is disused because it was closed. Yeah, and it's definitely disused because it's a different company, yeah. Question number nine. How long will this take you? Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. Forever. It's going to take a long time. If we win the lottery tomorrow... It'll take us less time. It'll take us less time because then we'll... Um, be able to do it all day long and everything. Mm -hmm. Did we do the lottery? No. No. It was a bit of a problem in trying yeah. to win the lottery. So we don't do the lottery. So basically, we do this when we can. Mm -hmm. There is no definitive plan, as we already said. There is no schedule. We're not doing it every day of the week. Winter is here, pretty much. Um, so it's dark at 3.45 where we live. Winter has come. Winter is has arrived. And it didn't take eight years. <laughs> Um, this may well do. <laughs> yeah, this may well do. Yeah, it may well do. Well, it will do. Christ, if we do, we do it within eight years, that's pretty good going. Yeah. So anyway, 6,800 stations in 10 years would mean 60 a month on average. And I don't even know if we're doing that at the moment. At a push, maybe. At a push, yeah. 
because that means 30. And some months we won't. This month won't. we won't because obviously you've got Christmas and all sorts in the middle of it. Yes. Well, yeah, but that's good because we've got a lot of time off. We have, but we've also got the kids. Yep. Good point. And they don't all like to come out. Oh, all they the time. love coming out, the kids. Oh, not all the time. <laughs> so, a long time, no plan. Um, as we get going and the, we get moving a lot, I think that's when we do start some interesting database and stats. Hmm. We can really work out how many we have, how far we've been. Yeah. Um, but we've got a lot of stats building up already. All right. Question number 10. I'm going to need more fingers in a minute. You're lucky I've got two hands then. Question number 10. <laughs> um, when are we starting? I mean, that's a bit of a, a random question because, we, as you know, we've already started. Yeah. I think these questions are um, a month old. So we have already started. Yeah. Obviously. And if you don't know that by now, you should know that by now. Because you, you should have watched it. Yeah. <laughs> Liked and subscribed. Yes. And notification bell. <laughs> so figure that stupid question. I need a finger. Thanks. <laughs> question number 11. Um, is a disused station on a main line disused? A hundred percent, yes. Yes. And we've already visited, as you've probably seen, quite a few of these already. I say quite a few, a few. Mm -hmm. um, Brent. Yep. That was a great example because it had the old platforms there. It had an old building, which is now a dentist mm -hmm. um, in Brent South. Um, absolutely. And again, the, the criteria really does fit on a disused station, which is on a main line, which is uh, to do it obviously in a safe manner and not go and uh, trespass, yeah. obviously. So we will get as close as we can to the station itself where it was, um, obviously without trespassing or endangering ourselves or other people. It may even be while on a train driving, going past it. Yeah, that'd be a bit sneaky though, wouldn't it? Yeah, but sometimes if you can't get any closer by road, the closest yeah. we can get is like Melbourne Port. I know we can get yeah. closer probably by road, but that's an example of one that is literally as we go past on the train. Yeah, okay. There's a great one in Scotland, which is, I think, if you don't include it, it's on a main line is what I'm saying. It's between Karur and somewhere further south. And it's, I think Ooh. I calculated, eight miles away from any road. All right. And it's a disused station and it's on the main line. Um, but wouldn't that be cool to go and walk it? That eight would. mile walk, it's a 16 mile walk. You need like a bovvy, wouldn't you? I don't know, we've managed um, half that in a couple of hours. Yeah, we, we did, can manage. Didn't we? Yeah, that nearly killed us, didn't it? <laughs> Me. Bit. It killed you. It killed me. Oh my God. Yeah, but I'd also, <laughs> to be fair, I'd also it? driven like a. We'd driven all the way to up to Scotland that day. Yeah, and day. the day before we'd done Devon as well. Yes, so. so. But maybe. But anyway, that, that would be a great example. Mm. Right, I think... Um, question number 12. Kind of question number 12. Tw um, thanks. Um, it relates... It's not really a question, but it relates to how can you follow us. Um, Twitter is absolutely... And there's a reason why I'm repeating myself. Twitter is absolutely... <clears throat> where you want to follow us because that's where we put everything railway related um, don't necessarily search for us on Facebook because our Facebook and certainly mine has been like my own personal diary where it's my friends and my close family for the last 11 years um, so it's not really something that we're putting out as public nope. um, so don't be offended if we don't reply to friend requests because that's kind of our thing isn't it mm -hmm. Um, but Twitter, do follow us because that's less family and friends. It's more historical, disused. Yeah, it's um, more it's for this specific reason. Yeah, for this. Yeah. So Twitter, ideally, is where you want to follow us. At P Whitewick, at R Whitewick. Um, and that's it really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. Sorry about the weird intro, but we thought it'd be a bit of fun. Um, really wet day today, so the camera didn't really want to go and play, and neither did we. Um, so I'm not sure whether this video will be out next or whether uh, we'll put out the next every disused because we've got a planned trip to Mion Valley and Basingstoke and Auckland Light Railway tomorrow. Yep. tomorrow. So we'll either when put that out. It's not raining. Yes, yeah, it's not supposed to rain tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Right, so that's us. Um, like, subscribe. Notification bell. Anything else? Likes, no, I think that's probably it. Cool. Um, yeah, right, see you later. Yeah. Bye.